Okay, so right now I want to be treating the table of standard transforms and these are just seven known results. Like I said, these results have to stick to your brain for you to be able to apply it anytime, any day. You don't need to start going over the derivation process again. Okay, so the first guy we always have is a constant A. If you take the Laplace transform of a constant A, what do you think the result is going to be? We're going to have A over S as the result. So what does this tell you? This tells you if you have the Laplace transform of 1, for example, your answer is 1 over S. If you have the Laplace transform of 2, for example, your answer is 2 over S. That's the meaning. So this happens. Now the Laplace transform of exponential AT, for example, when you have exponential AT, your answer is always 1 over S minus A. Please take note, S must be greater than A in terms of... Um, and definition of the Laplace transform. So what does this tell you? This tells you that if you have exponential 3t, for example, your answer is going to be what? 1 over s minus what? 3. Look at it. If you have exponential a t, a is a constant. So they told you that this is 1 minus s, sorry, 1 over s minus a, and a is a number. So right now, if you check here, a is 3. So we're going to have 1 over s minus 3. What if you have exponential, let me say, to the power of minus 4t, for example. This will become 1 over s plus 4. Because definition says you're going to have minus a, and a here is minus 4. So minus, minus 4 will give you a plus. The next one is sine a t. If you take the Laplace transform of sine a t, your result is a over s squared plus a squared. Remember, I've solved all of this. You can check all of the individual videos along this very icon over there. So this is what we have. Now, what does this tell you? If you have sine, let me say 3t, for example, sine 3t, for example, your result is going to be 3 over s squared plus 9. This is going to be your result. So the Laplace transform of this is equal to what? Sorry, let me put Laplace transform of this guy. Laplace transform of this guy. Okay, so the Laplace transform of sine 3t is going to become 3 over s squared plus 9 because a here is 3. The formula says you're going to say a over s squared plus a squared. So right now we have cos a t. Sine a t and cos a t are quite similar. So the Laplace transform of cos a t is s over s squared plus a squared. This is a Laplace one, so it's easy to actually evaluate. The next guy is shine a t. It's like sine, but this is actually shine. That's what we'll call it. So this will then become what? This will become a over s squared minus a squared. This one is going to be having a minus. Then what of cosh? Cosh a t is what? s over s squared minus a squared. So evaluating this is not still difficult. Then finally, the Laplace transform of t to the power of n is what? n factorial over s to the power of n plus 1. So what does this tell you? If you have the Laplace transform of t to the power of 4, what would the answer of this become? We are first of all going to say 4 factorial divided by what? s to the power of 4 plus 1. So this is what? This guy should be giving you 24 divided by s to the power of what? 5. What if you have the Laplace transform of t to the power of 3? What would the result of this become? 6 divided by s to the power of what? 4. We had 6 because 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1, so that's 6. So thank you very much. This table is the table of standard transforms in Laplace transform. Thank you very much.